2020 continues. Once again, John Miller. What started out as a quirky mystery has now turned into a major motion picture event. With the opening today of the Mel Gibson film Signs, Hollywood is hoping to cash in on one of the hottest phenomenons around, the crop circles. We here at 2020 have been following this mystery for more than a decade already. Who or what has been carving these huge, intricate patterns into grain fields? And what keeps our Bob Brown going back for more? Since the end of the last millennium, we've had a bumper period for the phenomenon of crop circles. Formations that began attracting a worldwide following as they appeared in the fields of England. I first went to take a look at them in 1990, when all sorts of people were roaming the English countryside, hoping to find out why the circles came into being overnight, without anyone witnessing how they were made. I'm looking for lights, I'm looking, I'm listening for sound, and some, some strange something would happen. My, as my son says, little green men. <laughs> Is that I something? I said, no, it may be little green women. <laughs> <laughs> Those types of speculations abounded. Maybe they were made by extraterrestrials. Maybe some kind of weather or military phenomenon was involved. Maybe they had something to do with Stonehenge, the ancient site near where the majority of circles appeared, one of many circular ruins that have played a role in British history and in theories that the circles are connected to energy lines in the Earth. I am totally convinced that we are looking at some form of intelligence. That was when I first met an electrical engineer named Colin Andrews, who would become one of the acknowledged world experts on the crop circle phenomenon. Mr. Andrews worked closely with another engineer, Pat Delgado. Their theory was that some kind of energy was involved because the lack of damage in the circles indicated they were not made by humans. And they're not broken at all, they're gently bent over. So some energy has induced these plants to lay over without breaking. As the patterns got even more complex, researchers began to call some of them pictograms. They analyzed their mathematical and symbolic properties, but they also wondered about new elements. I personally suspected that we might have had our first hoax, straight lines we hadn't seen before, and it looked to be very unnatural. And it was the beginning of much bigger things to come. Head down, head down, head down. And that turned out to be an understatement. When 2020 returned for another look at the phenomenon in 1995, interest had exploded. I can't, can't think of anything more exciting to me than to be within a crop circle. Songs had been written about the circles. Mysterious symbols. They had inspired brands of beer, television ads, dozens of books, magazines, and calendars. Appearances had been noted in other countries. This 46-footer was found in a rye field in Bethune, South Carolina. Like it was cut with a giant cookie cutter. You know what I'm saying? Okay, what we're looking at is a phenomenon that won't quit. There was a name for people who dedicated themselves to studying crappies. And where the original commotion started in England, there was a place for them to gather in the countryside and marvel at new reports. A pub called The Barge. Organized tours charging as much as $2,000 a person came from the U.S. Don't worry about the sheep, they won't worry you. No one knows our deponies. And the farmers in whose fields the circles had been appearing had had a little too much. Yesterday, I turfed out another dozen people who were obviously on a tour. Turfed out? Is I just, I told them to go away. <laughs> in no uncertain terms. In fact, the turf battles had gotten very nasty because the story had taken another turn since our first report. Two men had admitted to hoaxing the crop circles and inspiring others to do the same. One of them, Douglas Bauer, said their implements were as simple as a rope and a board after a night of drinking. Pushing it over like that, you see? You know, it's a marvelous feeling to be in the middle of a cornfield at one o'clock in the morning. Everybody's in bed. You're the only two people in that vast expanse of land 
But the believers refused to stop believing, saying instead that the people who owned up to making the circles were spreading disinformation. The thing about old Doug is he's a sly old fox, and you can smell it from a mile away. <laughs> it's disinformation. Now I have to go Peter Sorensen, an American whose passion is videotaping and cataloging the circles, also observed that the phenomenon had created distinct factions. Every single person you will talk to will have a different and very firmly believe in this. Their answer is, is the best answer, you know. How right he was. When we revisited Peter Sorensen this year, he himself was under attack. Why? Because Mr. Sorensen had experimented with making sophisticated crop circles like this one. They are elaborately plotted, first on paper, then in a field with people assigned to specific areas of the formation. And Mr. Sorensen had changed his mind. I've switched over from being a believer that they're made by angels or extraterrestrials, which I used to think, to now I'm certain that most of them are man-made. There may still be some mysterious ones, but I am now virtually in the man-made believer camp. That was heresy to some followers. These believers, some of them, are downright fundamentalist fascist. Uh, any diversion from what they say is uh, they will smear your name on the internet, in publications. I've been called a CIA agent. It's absolutely nuts. In fact, even expert Colin Andrews, who has moved to the U.S. since we first met him and who has carried the crop circle torch longer and farther than anyone else, even he has come under attack. In studies partially subsidized by conservationist Lawrence Rockefeller, Mr. Andrews still concluded that 20% of the circles are created by some non-human force, but he got hate mail for suggesting that the other 80% are man-made. Uh, yes, I, I received hate mail uh, for nearly a year uh, in my P.O. box and in my email uh, telephone calls, and it was because that part of the truth uh, doesn't sell. It's not popular. To add to that mix, Hollywood caught up with the phenomenon this year, noting how people who believe in the formations sometimes get no respect. Morgan, this crop stuff is about a bunch of nerds who never had a girlfriend in their lives. They do stupid crap like this to feel special. It's a scam. I can't take a girlfriend. This movie, called Signs, released by the Walt Disney Company, the parent company of ABC, proposes that the formations are a kind of map for an invasion of an alien civilization. Cut. Its director is M. Night Shyamalan. In the United States, in England, and in India, and in around the world, there have been crop circles found everywhere. Let's say it's a hoax. It's an interesting thing that everybody in all these countries seems to express themselves in that same way. Another crop circle movie, this one an unreleased English production called A Place to Stay, takes the view that the formations are a signal that human beings are destroying the Earth. Oh, some people are so stupid. Between the hoaxers, those who believe in extraterrestrials, those who worry about the planet, and those who simply like to look at crop circles, what we've learned in following this story for more than 12 years is that it is an extraordinary revelation of the phenomenon of human nature. We've seen it progress from awestruck curiosity to pop culture to choosing sides. Convince me. This is fraudulent information. Even to the point of making the differences into a kind of holy war. But at this point, people are, are still fighting over them. Oh, know, definitely, right? definitely. Right. We're fascinated with wondering what, where our place is in this world and in this universe, you know, whether we're the only ones or whether we're part of a larger system because the unknown is a very scary place and, and, it, and it causes us to question ourselves. We do not need anything made up in Hollywood in this phenomena. This is a mystery. Okay, I'm going to put you on the spot. Do you believe that this is man-made, or is it some extraterrestrial something? I would love to believe it was extraterrestrial. I, I guess it's this job that ruins you for those things, but I say, you know, if you can't show me the proof, I, I think man-made. Then how do you explain that it takes place all over the world? Because I think it's man-made all over the world, and I think they should just step up to the plate because some of it is great art.
Thank so you, you just think admit that to it. someone does it here, and then someone says, okay, we can do it there, and someone says that we can do it someplace else? And I think one begets another. Everybody wants to be part of the phenomenon. Uh, I'm just naturally suspicious. Well, I guess so am I, because I agree with you. We'll be hearing from our viewers, I think. I bet. We'll be right back. When 2020 returns, the case of the missing links.